Hello and welcome to WD Sports. West Essex hosts Tower Hamlets in the Essex Senior League. Match officials for this fixture are Matt Pond, Jack Morris and Tim Ford. My name is William Fuday and hope you enjoy the game. Thank you. Although both sides created chances during the first half, the game stayed level at half time. Midnight waited until the 84th minute to grab a winner for the home side. Considering the pitch, how the pitch was, it was a good game. Both teams was fighting for everything, so it was good. I thought they had the better of the game in the first 15, 20 minutes of the first half. Obviously, they were sharper than us. We haven't played for a while, um, and they played on Monday, so you can see they were sharper than us. But slowly in the first half, we came into the game, um, created some good chances. I mean, our keeper was outstanding with that um, point black save. I don't know how you put it up, but I mean, he's an amazing keeper. So. That kept us in the game, so that was good. And then second half again, we didn't start well. Um, and then again took over. And then I think, I think in the end, just about right. I think you know, I think they'll probably argue that they deserve something out of the game. And, but I think we just edged it, just edged it. Yeah. Did you come with any game plan, knowing that they well, haven't the game plan? What we said to them would be is that just be prepared that for the first 10, 15 minutes, they're probably going to be sharper. So don't panic. You know, there's no point panicking because we know. So trying to stay in the game and, and keep it tight because we know they had a game on Monday. So the game plan was be patient, don't panic. Although we might be under pressure for a little while, the game will, will even itself find and we can express ourselves once we get into the base of the game. So yeah, the game plan was really stay relaxed and try and, and wait for our time. Mm -hmm. So you're safe on the table now. Yeah. So do you feel like you've got anything to play for or not? Well, we want to finish as high as we can. With the, we want to definitely have most points than we had last year. And then, uh, although we're safe, so to speak, um, all the teams are going for something playing against us, which, I mean, we have something to say in, in the title, you know. So I think the boys will relish that. So, and also, it's a good platform for us to build something to try and do something next year, you know. So, yeah, so like I said, 
try and finish with as many um, as many points as we can, and try and um, what's it, play as, um, finish as high as we can. So that's the aim, you know. Last year we finished 13th or 14th. This year we want to finish much higher with a lot more points. So that's the aim. Um, well, to be fair, I thought we dominate the game and we deserved all the three points. To be fair. Um, Stupid mistake at the end just cost us, but we've created so many chances today, so I feel we should have got the three points to be fair to get that. Okay, um, in your recent performance, what are your thoughts on your recent perform performance as well? Uh, recent performances have been quite good. We've been um, building up slowly. Um, we've got a ter big turnaround in new um, players, and they're getting used to a new system, but we've been doing, doing quite well. But today, the performance was not too good but we made lots of chances seven chances five one and one which we should have put away and they had one chance and they put it away but it's, it's a, bit, a bit down at the moment the players are a bit down um, yeah but apart from that we've been doing quite quite well okay you're speaking of um new players coming in how many players have you recently signed in the past week or also or in the uh, if that's the case uh, we've signed about five players this year. Uh, what well, this this from January that started. So we've signed about five players, and they're players that we feel that can improve us, which they have. But obviously, it's taking a long longer than I expected for them to gel together. But it's a work in progress to next season, and they're boys that we feel like would push us up, push us on to the next um, step that we want to do. Okay, and now you're currently seventh on the table. So what are your? You haven't really got much to play for. So what are your? What your plan to the end of the season? Like, you feel like you've got to play for something at the moment, or you're just going with the flow to next season? Yeah, I think we've got a lot to play for because last season we we didn't um, end up in the top ten, so we want to go as hard as we can. If we can get higher than seventh, or we go for sixth or fifth, we still got a lot to play. We've got pride to play for, so we're we're building for next season, but we want to go as high as we can. We don't want to just settle just because we ain't got nothing to play for. We want to keep winning games and get as high as, high as we can. And we've got we've got a big say in who wins the league as well because Tateley's still got to come to us, Basildon. So we've got a big games coming up and that's what we've got to look forward to. Taking the performance from this game, what do you feel you've learnt from this game, taking it into the next game, into your next game? Um, we've learned a lot. Um, obviously, I know what, what my squad can do and I know what my um, coaching staff can do. I really trust everyone that's part of my club at the moment. Um, for the next game, it's going to be really important because we're playing some of the teams in the top half of the well, table, top four table in the table. So I know the boys are ready for it, and I know the boys are not ready for it. So this actually taught us a big lesson of who's ready and who's not ready.